Welcome back, fellow trophy hunters, platinum watchers, YouTube enjoyers, friends. Today, we're taking on the part. This is going to be a trophy horror fest bonus video. The first one. What day do I release this on? I have no idea. But I saw this game on sale. I can't remember how much it was. Maybe like two or three dollars. And I figured, why not just do a little bonus video for everybody because you know this one didn't have a platinum and I already bought it before I looked into it so here we are let's enjoy the park also there's a trophy if you look to the right no look to the right there you go where that road is if you walk up that road and you keep walking until the mist gets you you do unlock a trophy which was the last one I unlocked because I thought it was somewhere else you had to do it now we head to the Atlantic Park to talk to the teller, cashier, person working to see if they saw Callum's bear because it's missing and we need it now. But of course, as soon as we're talking to this gentleman, our stupid kid decides to go through the gates. Granted, I don't know how he got through the gates when I tried going through the gates. It told me no. So there's that. And of course, we have to follow our boy up the escalators and at this point too i'm questioning why can't i walk up the escalators to get to my child i'm just watching there reminiscing to myself about the park and i'm sitting there thinking wait why aren't you running to go get your kid what, what are you doing i can't even remember the main character's name the rain the rain's the main character's name how could i forget such an important detail of this 10 out of 10 game ah. I also just like how it randomly, the screen shakes and it was nice, bright and sunny and now it's just pitch black outside. Like, how long was this escalator ride where it's a whole different scenery? Like, what? And the fact that we're still not running after this kid is just so funny to me, I don't know why. Oh my god, guys, look, it, it's the thing in the thumbnail. It, it, it's the thing in the thumbnail, guys! <sighs> Too bad we can't go there yet. We have to keep on trucking. And also, it's just like, why aren't we running after our kid? Like, Carrie Killen is Satan's whore. All right, let's calm down. Let's calm down. We don't need to throw anything out there like that. These accusations are crazy. I'm also wondering if we're a vampire at this point because, like, our shadow's not being reflected up there. So I'm like, well, what's going on here? Are we okay? Are we alive? Or are we dead? Because all these horror games that I have. Oh, there's our shadow. Because all these horror games that I have been playing, it's just like, ooh, you never know, you know? It's, a lot of horror games do the same tropes, and through this month that I've been playing all these games, I've noticed a lot of similarities. Um, granted, I am, I think I've only done, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I've done nine or ten games at this point. Um... Obviously, I'm, you know, both recording, so I'm not close to the uh, goal yet, but... And this one doesn't have a platinum, so I was like, eh, eh, and it's not really, like, that well-known of a game, so I'm like, yeah, this is going to be a bonus video for everybody. And if they like it, they like it. If not, well, hey, you know what? I'm still trying. Also, like, the first time... Yeah, this is a, the second clip that I played with the first time I was playing. I thought the kid was, like, running up there. And I was thinking how funny it is that I'm ignoring my kid and I'm going on the swan boat ride. But actually, he's on the swan boat ride. I just never saw him because I waited so long to go on the ride before I even did it. And I was like, oh, that makes more sense than why we would actually get on this ride instead of just, <laughs> like, ignore your kid and be like, actually, you know what? And instead of seeing Caleb, I think I'm just going to take this slow-ass boat ride <laughs> in this stupid little amusement park. I'm sorry, the Atlantic, let me give it its respect. Another weird thing, I'm going to go on a lot of tangents here and I apologize, but another weird thing that I've noticed about a lot of horror games, so many of them, so many of them, talk about Hansel and Gretel. Like, that's just so weird. Like, okay, so far, I mean, I think it's only happened like maybe two or three times, but that's still more times than I would think, you know what I mean? Like... It's just weird, weird coincidences throughout these games. Then while we're going on this beautiful swan ride, you'll notice that there's Chad the Chipmunk. 
just chilling over there. The hell's that? You want to make sure that you look at Chad when you get right next to him. Because that unlocks a trophy called Chad. Just so you remember this guy's name. This murderous little feline. Nope, felines are cats. Murderous little mongoose. Nope, he's a chipmunk. Squirrel. Chipmunk. I'm not sure what he is, honestly. But looking at him. Also, you'll go like in the, these like, little panic states. Like whenever you see something scary, it'll do this. Like the screen will start like hyperventilating. I don't even know if that's the right word, but we're gonna go with it. Cause, yeah. But after seeing him, we do unlock another trophy. I know you guys are gonna be like, trophy. Why did you pop two trophies there? Well, let me tell you, dear listener, it's because I forgot once you enter the park, you get a trophy. As you can tell, I'm kind of freeballing this one, and I did not write a script for it. So. You're getting raw, unnatural talent going through here. And once we finish our boat ride, because the excitement's over, we also earn another trophy. The thing, too, about this game, it's like, you're saying that you are so worried about your kids, but we're just going on rides, and like, we're not even rushing to go find them. There, there is a sprint, there is a sprint button, but like, I think there'd be like more concern. I mean, you can call out to Callum by pushing circle over and over again. The game, actually, too, it doesn't like look too, too bad for, um, I don't want to say this type of game, but like it, it doesn't look too bad. And like, it gets really good towards the end. It's just like this whole like middle chunk. It's just kind of like, yeah, you know, which I've noticed too. And I'm not trying to hate on horror games, but I actually do enjoy horror games, but like, if there's not a lot of interaction or because like i don't know seeing a bear with a knife in its eye you know it doesn't really do much for me you know what i mean it's just it's just there you know maybe i shouldn't shit on this game too much but because too i mean it's only like an hour see like if i would like looked up and would have saw chad there again i would have been like oh shit like is he actually after me but you don't you don't see chad there but we do come up to our next ride the octopus flinging machine. He's not an octopus. He's a dinosaur looking guy. Make me dizzy. Yeah. Honestly, I don't know about you guys, but I could not do rides at all. Like, I have such motion sickness when I was on rides. When I was younger, I'd go on anything. But like now, if you were to be like, hey, Trophy, you want to go on a ride? I would die. Like, I would be so nauseous all the time and I'd be like, this sucks. But of course, instead of looking for a kid, Dude, let's just go on this crazy, uh, kraken looking dinosaur thing. And I was kind of, yeah, I thought I could just walk through it, but you just click on the squirrel, you know, go for the ride. Then the ride starts picking up and it gets a little crazy. And I'm like, why is she panicking? We're just on a ride. And then a few moments later, you see why she's freaking out. It's a <laughs> creepy ass. I don't even know what you want to call him. Ghoul with a top hat? I don't even know. <laughs> it's just kind of stupid. Like, it's funny in a weird, stupid way, I guess. But we also see him in the ride now, stopping the ride for us. Honestly, he is kind of like a gentleman. But after getting off the ride, we examine this polar ride over here and we get another trophy. Me and Callum. We know it should be Callum and I. But hey, you know what? We never say we're mother of the year, all right? Then we see this cool little kiosk over here, and let's read this note. I bet it has some interesting information on it. Did it get you guys? Did the jump scare get you? Now we're off to the bumper cars. Honestly, top tier hair ride, in my opinion? I think so. Then, after examining this electric device, we're gonna earn another trophy after this sweet cutscene. What is happening? I'm guessing she's experienced some electroshock therapy at one point in her life. 
After this, we earn another trophy. Now, after examining this amazing bumper car incident report, one of the bumper cars takes life and just decides to go full crazy and crash and burn. At first, I was like, oh, wow, this is pretty cool. Like, look at this thing go. I would freak out. And just, <laughs> just goes out in the lamest way possible. <laughs> oh, so funny. I also gotta mention, like, why the hell is, like, now we're standing in front of this light, right? Look at our shadow now. Why wasn't it doing it before? That's, you know what? It's on me. It's really not even that big of a deal. But I just thought it was weird. Honestly, I'd have to agree with him. You've been riding rides instead of looking for your kid. Speaking of which, there's the Ferris wheel. Is this also considered a top tier ride? Or is it because it's such like an original? Like everybody just enjoys it because I'm sure everybody can go on it since it's not like crazy or anything. There's like those like zip lining things that people go on where like it's kind of like the Ferris wheel, but like the whole thing's like moving up and down. I don't know how people do that. If you do that, you're a hero. I'd just be too afraid I'd get a concussion in that thing, freaking bouncing around, bashing my head everywhere. Like, what? No, no thank you. I'll stick with my boring old Ferris wheel. Then if you decide to read the Ferris wheel, you get some lore about Lorraine's... Lorraine's wife. I keep on wanting to say wife. No, her life. You find out that her mom ran away, her dad became an alcoholic, she ended up marrying some guy named Don or Dan, I can't remember. And then he actually died in a Ferris wheel accident. And you're just like, what the hell? Hey, I mean, hey, people die every day of weird stuff. I don't know if you guys ever remember that um, 1000 Ways to Die. That was like on Spike TV. I don't even know if Spike TV is still a thing. God, dude, I sound so old. That's so depressing. But yeah, they used to have this show called like 1000 Ways to Die. And it was always like something stupid. Like, I remember one dude was like jerking it and then the window closed on the on him and then he died somehow from that and i just remember being like well why were you doing that anyway you freaking weirdo anyway we're getting off topic let's continue the trophy hunt the next trophy we get we see this missing uh, ferris wheel cart and we interact with it and we get another trophy and also a shortcut to the next area trophy unlocked now we're on to the next ride in this park, the roller coaster, which I'm assuming is most people's favorite ride. Which I remember one time I went on this roller coaster, I think it was called the Excalibur at like, I think it was Splashtown Funtown, I think was the name of it. And I don't think I should have been on the ride because I was really young, but they let me on anyway. And I remember. While it was like going down, I started lifting out of my seat. Keep in mind, I think I'm like 10 or maybe nine at the time of this. And I just was sitting there thinking like, oh my God, I'm gonna fly out of this thing. I even remember my hat flew off my head and I lost my hat and I was really upset about that. But I mean, hey, there's nothing you can really do about it. But I mean, I, I, too, I was just a child, but I was just like, oh, thank God I didn't freaking die. <laughs> but I was like, I think, I think too, after that was when I was like, I don't really know if I like going on amusement park rides anymore. Anyway, let's get back to the, uh, you know, we don't have to reminisce with me. But we're on here, the creepy guy that we saw at the octopus ride is behind us talking to us. And we're just trying to figure out where our boy is and he's pretty much just being like, nah bruh. But he puts his arms around us like he loves us, but he doesn't really love us, he hates us. But after this ride, we do earn another trophy. I guess I probably should add this part because it's kind of cool. Like, while well, you're going on the roller coaster ride and you're going through the thing, you're going like, through like hospital doors, I'm assuming. But I am cutting out like a lot of the walking and stuff because honestly, nothing's really happening when you're going through the game itself. Like, nothing's chasing you, nothing's behind you. The rides are pretty much the majority of it. So, you know, I'm just showing you the highlights. Does make me a bad person that I accidentally giggled when we hit that kid off. 
on the roller coaster. I'm just like, Whoa. are you kidding me? What? Also, shortly after the roller coaster, we take the flashlight and we get another trophy for doing that because why wouldn't we? Now we go into the next part of this, the slideshow alley. Why did I say that? So weird. But as soon as we enter this area, you'll see a note in front of one of these stalls. And once we look at the note, yes, the newspaper. Once we read the newspaper, we unlock another trophy. Then after exploring the slideshow alley a little bit more, we find blood. What could be behind here? A corpse? No way. Is that our husband? Nope, just some poor bastard. Who did this? Well, I guess we'll never know. Oh well. Look at that creepy clown in the trash. Oh well. Oh! It's Chad! But he disappeared. Then of course, in indie horror game fashion, we take some pills. And they're ours? Are we actually insane? Do we even have a son? These are the questions that we need to ask ourselves. <laughs> Fuck gravity. <laughs> uh, not safe. Your mother? <laughs> the graffiti. It's just so funny. If you're the boogeyman, stop picking your nose then. Man, these guys get it. These guys get it. Then there's just a bunch of floating stuff. We see our guy. Honestly, he just makes us do a lap around and then this section's over. Then, we finally get to go in there since we have our flashlight. If you try to go in there at the beginning of the game, it won't let you because it's too dark and scary. But now that we have our flashlight, we can go in. And this honestly is the best part of the game is inside this thing. It's actually like where the game gets kind of interesting. Um, but for entering this, we get another trophy and a sweet loading screen. This part alone, I think, not us looking at us through the mirror, but this section of the game in general makes this game maybe not worth playing per se, but it is pretty cool. I like the whole atmosphere of this area and when you go through it, it progressively gets like crazier and crazier and different. It's definitely like a lot better pace than just like doing the rides at the park because like like I said, nothing's really happening out there. Like, you'll see the top hat guy every now and then, but it's nothing like, I don't know. It, it, it's not really that scary. But in here, there's like a few parts where I'm like, oh my God, is something like gonna come out or what's happening? Like, it, it, I, I think it gets interesting through here. Let's get to the interesting parts though. So you'll keep going through sections of the game like this where it's like, oh wow. This must be where like we grew up. It's all these nice beautiful pictures and books and just give you that like that nice homey vibe. You know what I mean? But the more and more you go through this, like the crazier this one area gets. Like you'll see like a baby in the oven. You'll see like freaking the paintings are like all discombobulated. You'll see like graffiti all over the wall. It's just like a bunch of like, it like starts getting like crazier and more like demented. And I was like, oh god, like this is actually getting cool. Like, I wish this was like the whole game, not like the end of it. Because this is pretty much towards the end of the game, you know. Then, after exploring and going through this haunted house, we get to the final cutscene. We see Callum on a slab, just tripped over the stairs with the loser. And then this part too, maybe too, I didn't really like pay too much attention to, but there's like some notes and stuff that like imply that a lady was like kidnapping kids and stuff. So it's like, wait, did she actually like kidnap this kid? Is this really her kid? Cause Chad's just sitting there in the background, but then it's like, is Chad even real? Is Chad, are we Chad? Who knows? Who knows? Cause then you're just taking this and you're like, are we about to stab this child? We got our friend right behind us. And also, too, it's like, I don't know if it's just because she's, like, mentally unstable. Maybe this is the demon she's seeing. I don't know. I probably should have read more of the notes instead of just trying to, like, go through it like crazy. Honestly, I might have to put, like, a sensor over that. Nah, you don't stab. Oh, you do nap. But it doesn't show it, so I think it's fine. 
Who knows? I mean, I'm not even a big channel anyway, so who cares? Like, I mean, hey, if you guys uh, got this far and you want to like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it, since this is a bonus video. We are trying to hit 500 subscribers at the end of the year. Probably should have said something earlier instead of waiting till the end of the game to say something. But that is just who I am as a person, and I cannot change that. But now, we did hit the 14 out of 14 trophies. The game is over. Honestly, if you see this on sale for a couple dollars, I'd recommend getting it. It's, I think it's it's fun for what it is. Like, I mean, don't expect to... I don't know. I mean, you're paying $2 for a game. You're not expecting a banger, you know what I mean? Also, that guy looks strangely like the guy who let us into the park. Now that I see this. Wow. Maybe it all was in our head. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. I hope you did enjoy this bonus video of me rambling pretty much because I did not write a script, so... I don't know. It always goes back to Atlantic Park, brothers. Love you. See you in the next one.